here here i have logged into the my aws account click on ec2 search ec2 click on instance click on launch instance let's select ubuntu 20.04 Let's select it to small. Then click on keep it default VPC. Click on add storage. Let's add 20 GB storage. Click on add tag. Click on configure security group. Then select the existing security group, default security group. Click on review and launch. Then click on launch. Select the key pair. And click on view instances. Sir, can we implement the Kubernetes in the VM also, sir? Whatever the all the scenarios? Yes. So uh, 40 GB or 30 GB with 2 GB RAM is enough, sir. So for a cube EDM, we saw that we need a minimum 2 GB of RAM. So for Minikube, if you use a Minikube, but uh, don't use Minikube, use either Cube ADM or COPS method. It will be the cost effective for your practice. So our instance is ready. Go to the instance detail, copy the public IP, open the putty, log into the EC2 instance, click on auth, select the key pair, Let's increase the font size. Default username is command. So here we have the instruction to create a Docker file for the Node.js application. So first step, let's install the Docker on Ubuntu instance. So here we have the instruction to install the Docker. Let's add the app key of the Docker in Ubuntu instance using curl command. So here curl, this is the official Docker repository for the Ubuntu OS. Let's add in Ubuntu. Next, add the app repository of Docker for Ubuntu. So command is sudo add app repository. This is the official app repository for the Ubuntu. For Ubuntu, we have the APT repository. For the CentOS, we have the M repository. For Red Hat also, we have the M repository. Next, update the system packages. Next, let's install the Docker Community Edition on Ubuntu. Command is sudo app install docker hyphen ce press y let's wait till the installation is complete Let's clear the screen. Now let's give the let's create a one Docker user and group give the permission to access the Docker service. 
let's give the permission of the docker swap default permission is triple six so now to create a node.js application let's create a one directory sudo mkpi node.js app and go to that directory node.js app let's create here we have the sample node.js code one is the packet.json and server.js this will give this will get you by the developer so let's create a packet.json in that node.js app directory copy the sample code then create a one server.js then copy this sample code sir what about the js sir what is the js telling so i'll repeat again this is sample code for the node js application okay so uh, this is a by default server dot in node js application we have the server dot js and package json which contains the all the library for the, which include for the node js application and server dot js contains the port number by default node js port number is 3000 and here we have to add on which IP it should run by default, it should run on the any IP address that is four times zero. And just we are given the message hello world. Okay, something we are missing also. So the file now let's create one docker ignore file in git also we have the git ignore so by default when you create when we install the pack create the docker file so by default some additional packages also will install so for now and we don't want any docker container that's why we create a docker ignore file so for that if you if you don't need any logs file or conference file or model file, then we can create a docker ignore file. Copy this this one so we don't need this node models or debug.log because so it takes the more space in container. That's why docker ignore. Now let's create a docker file. The syntax is capital D. So create a docker file. So when wherever there is a project, so in the project or project root directory, we have to create the docker file. And let's add the instruction. So to create the docker file, we have to understand the docker file instruction. So there are predefined Docker file instruction like from work directory, like these are the Docker file instruction. So let's go to the Docker file instruction. What are the available? So here are the common 19 Docker file instruction is used in the real time projects. So here I already said that. So first for any application to create a container, we have to write the Docker file docker image and docker container so what is the docker file so docker file is a text document that contains the all the command a user can call on the command line to build a docker image so 
docker file instruction so it contains the set of instruction to build a docker image then and we create a docker container so here are the some docker file instruction you have to familiar so like uh, from first instance is from so from is used to specify whatever depending upon the version like you have you are using the doc java 11 node js 12 so whatever your applications version that version docker image we have to use okay then we have the maintainer then cmd to run the command in the running container we have the run label exports environment add copy then entry point volume user work directory arg these are the some common docker file instruction used in the to create a docker image so let's go to tell docker ignore so docker ignore is a docker file instruction is used to prevent copy local models and other unwanted being copied into the docker file docker image that's what we create a docker ignore file like uh, we don't want like uh, unwanted yml's cache some hidden files or some hidden environments that's why we create a docker ignore Okay, so in the interview, they can ask you what is the difference between add and copy, all these things. So here I have pasted the link. So you can go to the go through the all the Docker file instruction. So here we have created the Docker file for the Node.js. What it contains. So we are telling that. So create take the image of node 12 version we want a node 12 version create a work directory like user src of app you can create any directory so here i am creating the user src app then i am telling that copy this local packet dot json file into that work directory root folder then install the npm this is a npm module package we need to install in the node.js application then after installing the npm we are telling that copy the all the source dot means source so directory to the destination directory means copy from this system local system to the docker image then we are exposing docker image on 3000 port this is a default port for the node.js then we are telling that after setting the all this we have to run the node.js application for that we are using the instruction cmd then node then we are running the server.js so our application will run using the on the docker so these are the docker file for the node.js application so this is depend upon this for every application there is a different docker file we have you have to write the docker file so let's so here you can see the folder structure so here we have the directory node.js app then it contains the docker file some packet.json and server.js so if you run ls-a you can see the docker ignore file so dot file when we create a dot and file name it is a hidden file so list of the hidden file command is ls -a. so let's build the this docker file and command is docker build hyphen team is tag so here given the tag node.js app and dot means pick the docker file from this current directory if you have the docker file in different directory then instead of dot you have to give the path of docker file so here i am giving the dot means my docker file 
present in the current directory. So let's run this command. So here it is creating the Docker image from the Docker file. Here you can see that step one of seven. We have the seven instruction. It's picking the from node to downloading the node two. So it is putting the node twelve on the Docker hub. Then step two, creating the work directory. Step three, copy, copying the file. Step four, installing the NPM. Then step five, copying the, all the files, exposing the Docker image, then running the CMD. And successfully build the Docker image, given the ID and tag. To list out the Docker image, command is Docker images. Here you can see that Node.js app latest. Okay, let's run this Docker image. Docker run hyphen p. This is a source for on which port you have to expose this Docker image and this is the what is my defined in my Docker file and my name is Docker image name is Node.js app so it's running on any IPN 2000 port let's access using the browser copy the public IP, go to the browser and click on 3000. So my Node.js application running on the local, I have exposed my Docker image on, build the expose on my local system is running. So now we'll push this image to the AWS 